Hello bookworms. So today's book review is one of my is reviewing one of my very favourite books, and it's this book, Beowulf by Michael Morpurgo, or more commonly known as Michael Andrew Bridge Morpurgo. He was born in fifth October, nineteen forty three. He was a poet, an author, a playwright, and a librettist. He is best known for children's novels such as The War Horse, which he wrote in 1982. So, the original form of Beowulf isn't actually a story. It's an old English epic poem consisting of 3,182 alliterative lines. Believe it or not, the poet is anonymous, and he or she is often referred to as Beowulf's poet. So the book I'm going to read for you today is Michael Morpurgo's version of the old English epic poem. Beowulf. As you can see, the urn is illustrated by Michael Foreman. As you can see, the front cover is quite interesting. It's got these sort of snake uh, body things with this head on top. I can't tell what it really is. I think it's a water snake. And it really captures my attention. So, I really like the story because of the setting, its format, the describing words, everything Michael Morpurgo has used. When I started reading this book, I really just couldn't put it down. It only took me one hour to finish it. Now, coming down to the main story itself, there's a main character called Beowulf, and he's a warrior, and here he is. There's a picture of him over here. Here he is with his sword and shield. So now the main character, Beowulf, he has to fight three monsters in this story, and that's also in the poem as well. So the first monster is called Grendel, and you will not like the look of him. Uh, here he is. There's Grendel over there. Terrible monster. And he's eating someone's foot. And actually, the person he's eating is called uh, Hanskio, and he is a Gutish warrior as well. Because Beowulf comes with other Gutish warriors to help Hrothgar, the king of Denmark. So, coming down to the main story itself. Now, there are lots of characters in the story, there's loads, but I'm just going to mention a few of the main ones. There's Hrothgar, and he's the king of Denmark. There's Beowulf, and he's the warrior. There's also a Wolfgar, I think I'm saying it right, and he is Beowulf's man in waiting, or a small warrior who fights with the Beowulf at the end. So as I said earlier, Beowulf has to fight with three monsters. The first one is that terrible hag, Grendel. Then the sea hag, which is Grendel's mother, and Beowulf kills them both. And then there's the third one, that's a death dragon of the deep. Now, sadly, Beowulf dies at that part because of the dragon's humongous flames. And this is where Wolfgar comes in. He fights alongside with Beowulf. And also, another thing is, the reason Grendel was coming to uh, Denmark, well, there's a lot of reasons. I'm going to mention you two. Number one, Hrothgar had built a very big mead hall, and that was where all his warriors had came because before Hrothgar had went to many battles when he was still young, and he came back with many treasures, and Mabel thought that there was no end to all his wealth and power, and many more warriors came continuously joined him, and he had a humongous army. But he was also kind to his people, they were well fed and nourished as well. So now as I mentioned earlier, Hrothgar had built a humongous meat hall, and everyone in there was continuously day after day happy. There was singing, there was dancing, there was eating, there was ra laughter. It echoed throughout the entire meat hall. Now nearby there's this humongous monster called Grendel, which I think you're very familiar with by now. And he, well, he was what you would call a monster from hell itself. And he, well, well, all the laughter, all the happiness was more than his evil heart could bear. So what he did was he snuck into night when all of the uh, warriors were sleeping. They were sleeping inside the meat hall. They stayed there every day. They went home in the morning and they came back at the evening. So when they were sleeping there, what Grendel would do is he would sneak by, go inside, he would rip open the iron doors, and he would, he would kill man after man. And only by daybreak did Hoskar discover the holocaust that had taken place. 
and that's when Beowulf comes in. So soon enough, Grendel's act of torture was spread throughout the country, and Beowulf came to know. He came by ship to Denmark. At night time, Grendel came inside, and Beowulf caught hold of him, and they began to fight. I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end, you read for yourself. But here's a nice picture of what's going on, basically. I think you have a good idea of how, what Beowulf did to Grendel, basically. So another reason I really love this book is because of the literary style that Michael Marfogo has written it in. The describing words, the similes, the way of writing, it's all very, very nice. Another reason I love this book is because of the illustrator, Michael Foreman. And that's because of the way he's drawn everything. You can see that even though there's pictures in this book, you can get an actual idea of what the entire scene is happening. In terms of the fight scene, you really get what's going on and what people are thinking and feeling. And that's another reason I really love the Beowulf book. And who can end this book review without Michael Marfugo's, Marfugo's famous quote? As he says, We still fear the, the evil that stalks out there in the darkness and beyond. If you liked today's book review, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.